engineering graphics and design learners welcome to another episode in the how to hack your pet series only on how to egd now in this series up to now we have discussed the various components of the engineering graphics and design pet for grade 12s specifically the civil one we've done the design brief with its specifications and constraints We've spoken about the management plan. We've even talked through the research and the requirements for your research that you can expect to do. All right. We've further gone and spoke about the freehand concepts and how to actually get this done. Two freehand concepts of good quality. Then I've showed you in another video how to do your evaluation of those concepts to in the end decide which concept you're going to convert into your working drawing the floor plan as part of this section now which is really the business section of your work we're going to talk about the floor plan in the upcoming video we're also going to do another video on your elevations we'll do a video on your foundation and sections to your roof we'll even do a site plan but in this specific video i'm going to address the title panel which is a requirement for all of you to comply with the second last video that we'll do in this series we'll talk about the two-point perspective or although remember what i'm showing you now isn't your actual pet it's previous year's pet so this will look completely different and then in the end how to compile all of this into a quality document so to get us started we're going to go back to the official pet document right here and talk through the requirements of this civil title panel all right so there's really not a lot that they say in the actual document you know it's on page 14 it requires you to present now the selected solution that we've come up with in a set of working drawings so working drawings ref refers to the ones that i've just shown you the layout plan the floor plan the elevations the section elevations etc and a pictorial drawing which will be your two-point perspective that meets the following criteria all the working drawings must be prepared on appropriately sized drawing sheets that is a3 please a3 set up with correct border so each one of these pages must have a correct border but only one only one of these must be set up with a complete civil title panel and that's what i'm going to be discussing right now this civil title panel what does it look and how does it comply all right before we get to the rest of this this civil title panel which i'll give you examples of needs to be on one of these drawings the rest of the pages can just have a regular border with your name the uh, drawing title the page number and the date of completion it's only one drawing that needs to have a full civil title panel and you can decide which one of the drawings this is going to be best suited previous years kids in my class did it on the site plan but you can use any other other page although it does take up a lot of space so consider that All right let's look at what is required in your assessment criteria which is your checklist they check here at number five that you've used appropriately sized drawing sheets so if you've done that that's going to give you one mark all right a3 pages for all of these drawings borders on all drawing sheets of all drawings those borders please remember must include at the bottom your name and surname page number title of the drawing as well as the date of completion if you do that you're going to get two marks and then lastly a sun's 10143 compliant civil title panel on one drawing sheet so that's a title panel that i just showed you that's seven marks i'll make sure i talk you through all the requirements for that title panel last thing is if you look at the pace setter all right on the pace setter that i provided these this preparation must be done before you start with your actual working drawing so make sure that's part of the first step that you do take okay let's talk through the various components of a title panel now of course this is available as a download in the description and uh, there's also an english version available all right so you're going to start off by making sure all the details that's provided in this specific example is included in your own title panel okay we'll start from the bottom 
you'll have your reference code, which is your own uh, thought out one, who controlled it, and you can pick a friend to do that, of course, the page number, the scale of the drawing, your own name, and the date. Then you'll come up with a drawing number that's also uniquely your own, and the project number that can also be your own. Then the title of the project, and this will be a proposed new conference center with um, reception area or drop-off or concourse area on, and you'll specify the ARF number or the address. All right, then you'll have a title to that drawing. When, if it's on your site plan, it will say site plan. Of course, if this title block is on any other, you'll have to change that. The date of print, and again, this can be your own date, and who printed it, and then your own details. So you're an architect company in this instance, and you can come up with that. And then a list of revisions. And make sure you start that from the bottom to the top. And this can be actual revisions that maybe your teacher helped you to identify with enough space. Then the architect signature and the client signature. And then any notes on that specific drawing. And it might be that um, the contractor needs to verify heights on this site, if it's a site plan, etc. And then any other notes specific to the actual drawing. So if it is the site plan, then you could use your uh, corner heights, etc., and the details there. But if it would be a um, sectional elevation, for instance, then you could have roofing notes, etc. here. Okay, that's an overview of the title block. Uh, let me show you one that was done in class by actual learners. So you can see here similar information, but in their own handwriting. Done very neatly. They've even added the projection symbol here. Um, and then notes at the top. Okay, you can do that. Make sure this is about 90, 80 millimeters in width. Make sure your writing here is all caps and that it's about a 3 millimeter in size to make sure everything fits in. All right, that's your title panel. The next video is going to be on the actual floor plan and I'll discuss that in detail. Thank you so much for watching. Now it's your turn.